Well, today is day 26, uh, eating journal for my starch solution diet. I just finished cleaning the refrigerator. It's trash night tonight, and I wanted to get the trash out before the collection tomorrow. And one thing I'll say about this diet, because I'm eating so much whole food, and I have these little things that I put back in the refrigerator that I forget about. It was quite an ordeal. There might have been other reasons why it was such an ordeal, but I had a lot of food to dispose of, and I had a lot of food in there. So I just finished that up, and I'm very grateful for that. But I am enjoying this diet, and I started out this morning with uh, two blueberry muffins that I had defrosted last night. Toasted in the oven, I had my little tofuti and my raspberry jam and a little cappuccino, which was very delicious. Later in the day, I, when I got a little hungrier, I had a sliced banana with some blueberries and a little oat milk. And when I was eating and I was thinking how unusual it is for me to have fresh fruit as a snack. And that's the type of thing I always aspire to. That, you know, I know it's good for me and it certainly satisfies your hunger if you're in the right metabolism. You know, if your body is like ready to accept it as a food source and you're not so much in the refined eating, you're eating whole foods. And this diet, it whatever it is, it's I'm in the whole food genre. So having a sliced banana with blueberries, which is delicious with a little oat milk, it's a dandy snack. And I had that. Um, later in the day, I, I made up a little snack of, I took some tofu, sliced it up, spiced it up, nutritional yeast, onion powder, garlic powder, drenched it in that, toasted it in the oven, and then I made up a dressing of my um, low-fat mayonnaise and ranch, low-fat ranch dressing, and I, I heated a potato in the toaster oven and then I had that all mixed up and I put that dressing on it that sauce and boy that was good that was so tasty and um, as the day wore on I realized I didn't have any cheese sauce I needed to make some fresh cheese sauce so I boiled up potatoes some carrots um, I forgot to put the lemon in there I, I squeezed it but I forgot to put it in there it also takes nutritional yeast a little salt and you take the water from the boiled potato, put it in there, blend it all up. And, uh, yep, that's it. And it makes a dandy cheese sauce, so I have a lot of fresh in the refrigerator. And I also realized that because those chocolate cookies went moldy, I needed to make some more chocolate cookies. So I had gone over to Walmart, and I got some more of those white chocolate chips. So I was snacking on them. But I threw together the chocolate cookies and baked them in the oven and I froze them. I put them in little plastic bags and froze like three at a time in a plastic bag. And then I had a, a little fresh chocolate cookie with a little melted white chocolate like an Oreo. Not too many, but boy, they were good. And, um, and then later I had some beans, rice, corn, and salsa. I was getting ready for a meeting, and I just I felt like I needed something to eat, so I just threw that together, and that was, you know, very satisfying. A few more white chips before I um, finished up the afternoon. And then before I went to the gym, I remember I had those low-fat barbecue potato chips, and I had a few of them in a little plastic bag to take with me. But I finished them all before I left. <laughs> and it was a good snack before I exercised. And I hit it hard at the gym. I... I was paying attention when I was doing my yoga to really stretching and when I was on the elliptical really you know putting the stretch in my leg and so I had a good a good exercise a sauna whirlpool a little short thing and then when I got home I had I had uh, I um, heated up a griller and I had leftover mushroom gravy I heated a potato and I had some peas left over I cooked a few more peas and I had a nice you know, balanced meal. It's a griller of low-fat potato and peas and low-fat mushroom gravy. Very balanced meal, but very tasty. And then um, after dinner, I had a little bit of that mousse, and I put it with fresh raspberries. And that is just like such a tasty, like, you know, four-star kind of a dessert. Really just epic dessert. And then I realized I had to clean the refrigerator, which I did that. 
So that was my day, but I'm glad I did all of it. I got a lot done today. I had, you know, a lot of other stuff went on. And uh, it was a good day. And it was uh 26th day. I'm coming up on a month. It's going to be more than a month before I start my juice fast. And as I was walking around today, I felt my fat thighs. These pants I have one are kind of like a little tight. And I just felt like, boy, I just would love to get rid of these fat thighs. I am just like... I'm like really, you know, motivated, like just once I want to get rid of them. And I am a chow hound, you know, but with the juice fasting and, and this nice uh, low fat diet, hopefully I'm thinking another 70 days I might actually be there. And it's a great, um, it's a great goal. It really is. I think about it every once in a while. I think, you know, it's important to have these little personal goals in life. Because it's, it's like priceless to me. It's like an objet d'art. You know, it's a, a priceless object. And it would be nice to, to have it within my uh, world for a while, if not longer. So that's it. April 2022 Starch Solution Diet.